at 137 pounds. From Huntington Beach, California, Debbie Purcell. Debbie Purcell, a prodigy of Marco Huas. At 135 pounds, she did cut weight, as did uh, Chris Van Fleet, a couple of pounds. And let's take a look back. Why is Debbie Purcell here? Check out her first fight that took place in Minnesota. As we said, this California native made her debut on Brad Kohler's Ultimate Wrestling Show against Amber Mosley. Mosley came out strong, but it was the perseverance of Debbie Purcell, who threw kicks like that and landed punches like this. A brick wall, boom, and the left. Ended the fight and a TKO victory for Debbie Purcell in her mixed martial arts debut. She is ready for the revolution as tonight we take a look at her opponent. Militia and Gracian. Weighing in at 136 pounds from Medford, Oregon, Christine Van Fleet. Christine Van Fleet. In her corner will be her husband, Steve Van Fleet, who is also a mixed martial artist. Van Fleet. Has a mean look on her face, although she is mostly smiles. Let's take a look at her previous fight against Angela Reestad, whom we've seen moments ago. And look at the fire coming out of the corner. One knockdown. Presses the fight forward. And she comes back in the face of Reestad for a second knockdown. And a 16-second DKO victory for Christine Van Fleet. And as I stated about Purcell, Van Fleet is ready for hook and shoot revolution as well. Set to go. A smile from Van Fleet as we've seen throughout this weekend. Rarely see a mean look on her face. As we prepare for round number one of this super fight. Debbie Purcell, Christine Van Fleet, ready to go. This is your main event. For two, five minute rounds. Ready for Round number one. Look for some explosiveness. A big right for Purcell. Rocks Van Fleet. Purcell clinches around the neck and Van Fleet. Oh, nice uh, attempt at a judo takedown, but she ends up mounted by Debbie Purcell. John Brockmo is going to stop these two ladies from going off the edge of the mat. Judo rules state that you turn their heads towards the center of the ring for a restart. They're out of danger of falling to the floor now. An explosive introduction by both Van Fleet and Purcell in the opening seconds of this fight. Van Fleet got caught with a monstrous right hand. And if there's one thing that Van Fleet is known for, is that is her continuous onslaught of combinations that does not stop until she gets the victory. Purcell, not known for her ground game, but more so for her stand-up game and her training with Marco Huas. And she has gained a full mounted position. One thing we have seen tonight, once one fighter, oh, look at the, look at the shots from Purcell. And Van Fleet rolling over. Purcell has the hooks in. Working for that rear naked choke. The one thing, as I started to say, that we've seen tonight, once a, one fighter establishes a dominant position, she uh, will take control of the fight. And most of the fights have ended once a once, uh, dominant position has been established, with the exception of Restat and Condi. Who, ironically, Van Fleet holds a victory over Angela Reestad, as we've seen moments ago. Purcell, sent in the choke in. Purcell will, was cutting weight, will probably come in about five pounds heavier. 
And Van Fleet doing a great job of defending. You'll see her shoot her hips through so Purcell can't get the uh, hooks in. But there are the, the powerful shots from Debbie Purcell. Opens up another opportunity for submission. As Purcell continues to look for that uh, rear naked choke, she has those hooks in. And she is applying the pressure. Van Fleet holding on. Got to give her some credit here. And there's the tap. A subtle tap from Chris Van Fleet as Aaron Toehill hugs our best friend, Debbie Purcell. The winner, via choke submission, Debbie Purcell. So Purcell advances for the quest for the 135 pound book and shoot championship that will be decided this year. Take a look at this right, boom. And from there was Van Fleet, an explosive exchange, goes for the throw, off balance, and Purcell capitalizes, and there's the tap. And Purcell moves on. Let's go back to Daryl Neer.